Andrea and this is the Purple Magnolia channel. Today I'm gonna speak about my 5 favorite natural beauty products, so if you are interested, please stay with me. Let's start with the first product, which is the Orange Blossom Water. I use this particular product, which is from a corner grocery store, but I think you can find uh, orange blossom water in almost any uh, big supermarkets and grocery stores. I use it as a natural skin toner after I uh, cleanse my face with a gel cleanser. And this is actually great because it refreshes my skin and also it removes excess makeup. So I just pour a little bit from the orange blossom water on a cotton pad and I just cleanse my whole face uh, with it. Why is orange blossom water good for the skin? Because I'm pretty sure you know that this is a popular ingredient in desserts and in lemonades, especially in the Mediterranean cuisine, but orange blossom water is a great uh, vitamin boost for the skin. It is also uh, really good for sensitive skin because it shoots the skin and actually in France they use it in natural baby care products. So my top tip is that uh, if you have sensitive skin and also a little bit prone to oiliness, um, this is one of the best toners you can choose. My second favorite natural beauty hack is uh, using lavender oil. This is the lavender oil I use. I ordered it on Amazon uh, and um, I love this product because when I cannot sleep and I had a very tiring day, uh, I just uh, put a drop of it in the corner of my pillow and the scent of the lavender uh, flower is very calming, very relaxing. So it's basically an instant uh, mood changer. It helps you not think about the whole stressful day, but relax your mood and helps to uh, fall asleep. So I totally can recommend this and it is a natural way, not like sleep pills and sleep aids, which could be harmful for the health. This is 100% natural. Let's move on to the third product, which is a very simple product. Oops. This is an eye cream from Bird's Bees. Oops, I hope you can see it. But this is the uh, Intense Hydration Eye Cream with Clary Sage. And I use this product almost every single day after I wash my face, um, most of the time in the evenings, but I try to use it in the mornings as well. And it is 99% um, natural. So the ingredients are really gentle and um, basically good for the skin. They also doesn't test on animal and um, I think they um, also recycle some of, use recycled material for the packaging. However, I'm not 100% sure about that. But this is a great eye cream. It helps to hydrate my eyes my under eye area which tend to be very very dry especially in the winter months and um, it smells good but not so strong that it could irritate my eyes because I have quite sensitive skin and this product works for me so if you would like to find a good natural eye cream uh, I could recommend this one. Let's move on to the fourth product which is coconut oil. So here is a huge jar of coconut oil from Trader Joe's, but I'm sure you can find coconut oil uh, almost every um, grocery store or supermarket. I love coconut oil because it's a great hydrating uh, oil for the skin without leaving the skin sticky. It sinks in very fast and uh, it has an amazing scent. I use coconut oil as a lotion and a hand cream when my hands tend to be very very dry um, and also it's great for the legs. Um, my legs are so dry and I try to put some coconut oil uh, after, after I shower and in the morning I wake up and my skin is much softer, much healthier. 
So again, it is a 100% natural solution, it's quite affordable and smells great. So coconut oil is a great lotion. And last comes my absolute favorite product, which is castor oil. Don't be scared because it says it's a stimulant laxative because I use it as a skincare product and it's the same castor oil that you can find in any kind of um, skincare store. Castor oil is rich in vitamins and it is great for hair growth. I specifically use castor oil on my eyelashes uh, when I feel my eyelashes are weak and I want to want to grow them a little bit, this is a great solution for that. You can find very expensive uh, eyelash uh, treatments on the market, but um, I think uh, castor oil can be as good as these expensive products. Um, this is a natural solution, I don't think it could really irritate your eyes. Um, as I mentioned, I have sensitive skin and castor oil works really well on my uh, under eye area and on my lashes. I just apply it with a little cotton swab, like this one, and I put it all around my lashes, um, of course only during night time and when I wake up, if there is some excess oil left on my uh, eye area, I wash it off with my sensitive gel cleanser and um, my, uh, my eyelashes become stronger and stronger uh, day by day. However, it is a very long process. You won't see the results in days or maybe not even in weeks. For me, it uh, was at least one month when I could see the real result that my eyelashes were longer and healthier. But until that, um, I couldn't really notice a big change. So don't, you should be patient in order to achieve something with this uh, with this method. However, uh, this is also a two-in-one product because when I use castor oil to grow my eyelashes, I don't have to uh, use an eye cream like the Bird's Bees one that I showed you before because castor oil is a great hydrating product as well. It not only helps to grow your lashes, but it keeps your under eye area hydrated and youthful as well. So yeah, I really like castor oil and if I could only choose one product to use from these five, uh, probably I would choose castor oil because that's my absolute favorite and I love two-in-one products. So please, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I'm gonna know that you wanna like similar videos on the channel. And um, I'm also curious, what are your best natural beauty tips? So please write it down in a comment. I want to learn new tricks. So please write some of them. Thank you. Bye.